I'm sure I've said this to you a hundred times, Tobin, because I care about this a lot. I think, you know, you can just imagine for a player on a tens of millions of dollars a year okay. contract gets traded to make tens and millions of dollars somewhere else and they have movers and mm-hmm. they have to tell their family like, sorry, sad, I know you had friends and maybe our kids are in school, but the transition is quite easy. Yep. And you're thinking about making a short-term sacrifice in where you live for making a lot, a lot of money. When you're talking about the NWSL, you're talking about players living in often in team housing, which yep. is not always great. Low average housing. You're talking about, you know, getting some sort of trade stipend where you have to like figure out how to move all your stuff, get out of mm-hmm. leases. You really can't afford. Often players cannot afford to make long-term leases because they m- might get traded and they can't pay for that lease and also get traded and have to pay for a different lease. Yeah. The financial restrictions on our lives are much more severe than it is on other leagues. And mm-hmm. that has a great implication on how trades and expansion drafts feel. Thank you.